going to work on a realistic stereo mixer. It's the um, 32-100A. was not able to find a schematic on it, or if I could find it, somebody wanted to charge me, and it can only be so much to it. I'm going to use an MP3 player on the input and just check it out a little bit. Right now there is a problem with it. So, push the button, get the MP3 to come on. So we're feeding it in. Have a loudspeaker over here plugged to the output. And I'm going to bring it up, power on. We can see the VU meters. Now, it is a stereo input, yet you can see we just have one channel. Let's move it over to the inputs next to it, and we'll bring that one up. You can see we have the VU meters working on both. So, I'll move it back. And uh, what channel was missing? Let's find out which channel was missing. Did I plug it in the right place? It's the phono in here and here. So we can see that the left channel is working, the right channel is not. Over here both channels are working. Since the left channel is working and the right channel is not, I'm going to leave the right plugged in, come over here and plug the other channel into the... So I have inputs going into both channels. And I'm going to... Whoop! I hit magnetic on that one, didn't I? And come over here and we'll bypass the magnetic circuit. Go into the... Now this one wasn't working to start with. So we take the cover off and I'm going to turn this one down a little bit. And the circuits, it looks like this is uh, one channel, this is another channel, that's one channel, that's another channel for both of these two. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use for a signal tracer, a little speaker that costs a few dollars that's got a little amplifier built in it using a 9 volt battery. I also have a capacitor in the middle of it, so if I hit any voltage, why? We don't care. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to turn the volume all the way down on both of them. And Let's verify the input. First, I'll connect the ground lead over to the ground connector back here. And I'm going to come in to where the cord is coming in, uh, to where the input signal is coming in, and turn this on. So you can see at that channel. It's not very loud, but it's working. Let's come over here. Same input over here. Sounds very similar. We have input coming in. So I follow it into here or here. And same thing here without a schematic. This channel has nothing in it. Touch there, touch there. There's nothing there. Let's come on up to these two. These are the uh, left channel inputs. And let's go here. Nothing. Nothing. Yes, we got something. Just a little. And a little more. And here we have same deal. 
coming down to here. And really, I thought there would be more output there than this. Let's go ahead and crank the volume up a little bit. Well, here's the input to the volume controls down here. Have it. And over here. Don't have it. But I have it there. So what I came to is the switch is bad. So right here, I just jumped the switch out. But just using this little signal tracer thing here, I mean, it's a, not a signal tracer, but using it as a signal tracer. Since I don't want to tear it all the way apart for the switch, I just tack this on here. And that's the Q switch. So if you want to cue in and out on that channel, it won't work. Turn it back over, turn this up. And we'll feed signal into the bad channel. We have both channels. Quite naturally, we're going to run the song out just as we get to this. So, there we got. Both of them are working there. Come over here to the uh, this input. Turn this one down. Turn this one up. So they're now working. Now let's cue. That one cues off. Go back to the channel that was bad. Cue. This one jumped over. So that's, the cue doesn't matter there. But the switch is bad. It's in a very precarious place. To get to that switch, you're going to have to pull the circuit board all the way off. I wonder, is it even worth it? I just wanted to see how this thing worked. And this switch is bad. So for now, I'm going to put it back together and let it work the way it is. We never, we never.